Hello lovely year fours, welcome to week two of spellings, it's Miss Margetts here again. Make sure you've got either some scrap paper or you could use the back of your English books if you can't find any. Okay, so let's begin. Can you notice a pattern with these words? Is there something familiar or the same in all of these words? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, fantastic year fours. I'm hoping that you have spotted the suffix Asian. A T I O N. Those four letters are in each of these words. Now let's go through them together. We're starting from the left with location. And then we've got concentration. Say them with me education, exaggeration, and in the middle at the top, information, preparation sensation and then to the right we have imagination organization and adoration so with all of these words they end in the suffix ation a t i o n but let's quickly recap what is a suffix pause the video here just to help you recall that and so we know that a suffix, a suffix is a letter or group of letters like we've got in this instance that go on the end of a word and it changes the word's meaning. So flick back and see if you can find the root word, the original word. Okay, so just like we did last week, let's unscramble the spelling with the definition. So pause the video and see if you can unscramble these because they've become all scrambled. So pause the video and have a go and then join me in a minute to work them out, to unscramble them. Okay, fantastic. So once again, guys, we'll start from the top. So we're looking at location. What is the definition of location? So we know that location is a particular place or position. Okay, let's think of concentration to concentrate. So we know that concentration is the action or power of focusing all your attention. You're concentrating. Then we've got information. Oh, that's handy. Facts provided or learned about something or someone. Okay, preparation. So to prepare. The process of getting something ready for use or getting ready for something. We are preparing for something. Education. Oh, it's matched up already. The process of receiving or giving systematic instruction, especially at a school or university. So right now you are getting an education. You are being educated. Fantastic. And then we've got sensation. A physical feeling from something that happens to or comes into contact with the body. Beautiful. Then we've got another four more over here. We've got organisation, exaggeration, adoration and imagination. Can you unscramble the definitions with the words? Pause the video and have another go. OK, so we've got organisation. And organised, oh, we want an S there. That's the American spelling. An organised group of people with a particular purpose. Exaggeration, well, here that's a statement that represents something as better or worse than it really is when you're over-exaggerating. You might say, oh, I'm starving to death, when really you're not starving to death, but you're just very hungry. So that's being over, you're over-exaggerating that one. Adoration, to adore something, you've got a deep love and respect for something. And then imagination, the ability of the mind to be creative or resourceful. So we are being very creative and resourceful for our English that we're doing together. And you're also being very imaginative with your wonderful art creations. OK, so over to you guys. This is in our group chat. Um, you can either practice, just do practice one today and work through them on the week. You can do them all today. It's completely up to you. But just really, really focus. OK, try and get those um, those spellings done perfectly. You'll also notice that we've got three words at the end, just like we did last week. We've got extreme, grammar and height. Now, those three words, I know they don't end in the suffix Asian, 
but that's because um, these are from our statutory year three four spelling list and by the end of year four uh, you will be able to spell all of those words on that list so we're just getting some extra practice in now on the back of that sheet you've also got different options so you've got an unscrambler can you unscramble those words now all those horrible letters into words and they are from our word list and you've also got the pyramid words now after you've done the pyramid words you could create your own give those a go and then guys that is your spellings done for this week give me a shout if you need any help if you've got any ideas for some fun games and join me next week for week three of our spellings. Thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Bye.